first question comes from writers. There are no questions. Um, Governor, the uh, oil situation in Mexico, I was going to ask about this. I understand if, if what I read is correct, that the fields have peaked and are beginning, I mean on land in Chapa uh, State, and all those are beginning to decline, although yes, there would be some more coverings in the Gulf. I, I'll ask two, two short questions. One, what is Mexico doing to diversify its energy sources, maybe to get away from, from oil and gas, and also um, to um, <coughs> abate, to clean up some of the pollution, the heavy pollution that you have in, in your capital city? Uh, you can tell me your name and... Oh, I'm Julian Josephson, and I'm with um, Bootstrap Press. It's a non-profit organization based in Maryland. Okay. You know, if I answer in Spanish, or it's uh, difficult for you to... I would need it in... in English. English. Well, I'm pretty quick at English. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, obviously our country uh, is working on uh, new ways to generate energy and uh, there are new investments in order to produce energy through other means. And uh, what I have proposed as a member of my party in order to build a proposal for the next election, uh, the presidential election, is the, the opportunity that we have uh, in order to make a strong uh, way to generate economic growth in the next years is uh, to give the chance into Pemex to open to the private investment, which not necessarily mean that the state will lose property on the hydrocarbons. Is that the way to say it? Hydrocarbons? Hydrocarbons. Uh, this means that as happens in many other places that produce oil, that they have job ventures, that they have uh, uh, participation of the private sector in exploration, in production, in recognition, and that we can do that. And uh, I strongly believe that in the next years, as one uh, of the priorities we have as a country to grow economically, and to generate employees for the people in Mexico. Uh, I really believe that through this way, uh, through the participation of Pemex, uh, provo uh, promoting private investment, is a way to, to generate uh, employees and more investment to get uh, uh, more production, and uh, it, as I said in other uh, places, uh, uh, in many occasions, Mexico needs to grow economically. And Pemex can be, uh, I'm sorry, we'll find the world palanca, I would say, level of leverage uh, to give a very strong impulse to this economic growth. And obviously we need to work on the other, what you just mentioned, other means of getting uh, generation and energy. To produce energy by other means, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I, have, I have a question. Just, uh, first of all, uh, let me congratulate you on uh, the results that we saw yesterday for the PRI. And, uh, there were immediately reactions from the other two parties uh, with allegations of uh, your party aligning with organized crime. Uh, what is your reaction to that? Say in Spanish or English? Better English for you. Uh, I believe that in democracy the parties need to uh, know how to participate and be able to recognize when they win and when they lose. 
And uh, that's how democracy is. And that's are the rules of the democracy. What is not good for the democracy is when uh, parties who, uh, at the time of the election and when the election ended, the all parties that they were in the contest, they all, uh, uh, celebrate, they all celebrate that they have won. When they finally knew the final result, two came up to say, let's go back, let's do the election again, and, uh, that, uh, and, and start uh, criticizing uh, the PRI by any means. And that's not the fair play in democracy. I think that our party has clear set what is going to be, what would be his, poli uh, his policies on the crime, uh, against the crime organization. That's not, uh, that's, there is, I wouldn't say there, there, there is a debate on that. There is, can be a debate on the way and the means and the, uh, how we can reach uh, a better goal in order to provide security to the people. But it is not a question for any party that the state has the responsibility and the obligation to give security and to, uh, and to combat the crime organization. When uh, a party uh, affirms or says what you just said uh, on your question is a nonsense and uh, something that is uh, uh, out or is not uh, uh, convenient for a party that is supposed to be playing with the rules of democracy. Uh, just, just a quick follow up. Uh, as a journalist, looking at Mexico from outside, we see two things. One is uh, organized crime, and the other is we see the financial and the economic uh, development. And they seem to be very interrelated. Yeah, that's right. uh, and, uh, what is your vision or plan of action for the future? I would say there are two, uh, two priorities for the, for the future of Mexico. First of all, we need to uh, promote uh, and uh, grow economically uh, by different means. I have set uh, uh, 10 points where how to reach this uh, economic development and how to grow up. And, uh, and to generate, after all, a virtuous cycle between getting uh, economic growth and attending the, the uh, com uh, combating the, the crime organization and giving security to the people, that will give us a virtuous cycle. Security will bring us more economic growth and with more economic growth, I'm sure we can attend more efficient the, 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 the security that the people demands. Uh, part of the part of the reason why we have, uh, I believe, uh, the security condition in Mexico is because we have young people that are in the need to have a job, and unfortunately. The economic, the, the economy has not developed those employees, so many of the crime organizations are taking those young people into the crime, uh, into the crime organizations. So if we really get the point on the goal of getting our country in the path of growing economically, I'm sure we will generate these virtuous cycles that I have just explained. This is a visit of uh, four days to the United States, two days in Washington and two days in New York. And uh, the reason of being here is just uh, according to the times and, uh, the times and uh, with the relation that uh, we have in our country that allow us at this time to, first of all, not to make open promotion for the vote of Mexico, but 
it allows us to, uh, as a, in the condition of, be, of not being yet candidate or pre-candidate, it allows me to uh, set very clear in different circles uh, what are the, what I think will be part of the proposal our party will have for the next election to set very clear also uh, towards what we have heard that some others have said about our party uh, in this combat to, with the, uh, the, uh, against the crime organization to set very clear that the commitment of the PRI is with the security, with the application of the law, and there is no other mean and other reason uh, why to say that the PRI it will not be working on that sense and that uh